Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this Fiat Ducato budget camper van build. In today's video we're going to be talking about sound attenuation, vibration, sound deadening and sound absorption. These little sticky panels that you see on the van here, that's what we're going to be dealing with in today's video. But before we do that we've got a bit of a problem with the van so I need to take it out for a quick drive show you what it is. I just wanted to take the van for a little trip around a block so you can hear now we've got the bulkhead out some of the rattles and bangs as we're going over the bumps in the road and most of that is caused by the two skins of the van the outer skin and the structure here over that is where the bonding between those two skins has come apart and that's what's causing most of those rattles and bangs I mean you couldn't live with that that's just horrendous so when we get back we'll identify where that's coming from and then with a bit of the trusty old Sikaflex and hopefully we'll be able to stick them panels back together and reduce all of that noise in the back. I mean, you just couldn't live with that could you? It's horrendous. But yeah we'll be able to solve that. So what we're talking about is the outer skin where it's bonded to this internal structure you will find there's beads of silicon or mastic or whatever the manufacturers used to bond these two skins together and in places that does separate over the time. These ones are actually still stuck so I can't hear any rattling there. These top ones the same and over this side is pretty much the same there's no rattling there or there but where I have identified a huge rattle is with the roof now again this should be bonded to this structure here but as you can see it's all come apart there was obviously mastic there I can see it so what we'll have to do is just prop this roof up a little bit get in there clean out what we can and then inject some new Sikaflex into there and then let the roof drop down onto that leave that to go off for a good day or so 24 hours at least and then that should rebond this skin of the roof to these metal ribs and that should solve all our issues i can't find any other rattles anywhere else this is by far the contributing factor yeah. so i've used some old bits of wood just to prop up the ceiling give me a little bit of a gap so i can work in there use a sharp knife just to cut off these old bits of sealant just to get them out of the way because they're useless to be honest and we we'll clean that off as much as possible I'm going to give that a wipe over with some acetone now just to make sure it's really clean of any dirt and dust and then we'll put some new sealant in there and then release the props and then that should uh, bond the two surfaces back together again Right, that's Sikaflex on all of those ribs, both sides. Just going to release this wood, lower the roof back down, release the other one as well. And then what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of weight on top of the roof. Right, you can see it's all starting to squeeze out of the back here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a little bit of weight on top of the roof, just a couple of sandbags or something like that, or a couple of bags of compost I think I've got in the garden, but just a little bit of weight just to push down on this roof, just to uh, make sure that that's, I can see it's already starting to squeeze a little bit here, and obviously it's squeezed out here. So it doesn't, I don't want it to all squeeze out because then it's not going to do its job. I just want it to make contact and then it'll, uh, it'll definitely stick. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen I posted this picture a couple of days ago saying that we were planning a roof garden for the van. Well, I actually just borrowed a couple of compost bags from mum's garden just to put a little bit of weight on that roof to make sure that Sikaflex stuck. 
So if you don't already, follow us on Instagram because we do post some pictures which are more up to date of where we are in the progress of the van, so you'll be a little bit ahead of the build. And now I've let that roof back down. You can see that's just evenly squeezed out that Sikaflex. And that should bond those two panels back together. And leave that a good 24, 48 hours now before we move the van, just to make sure that's gone off properly. And the one good thing about Sikaflex, as distinct from any other construction adhesive, is it doesn't dry hard. Like the construction adhesives, a lot of them dry really solid and hard. There's no flexibility in them, so over time they will crack and they will fail. Whereas Sikaflex is specifically designed for caravans and motorhomes that are on the move all the time. It will stay flexible. It will be a really good adhesion, you know, it's very good uh, strength-wise. But it won't crack in future. It will, it will stay flexible and it will move with the van. Okay, it's time to apply some sound deadening material. Now, I see a few people make a few mistakes with this. I did a video, a detailed video on this last time, and I'll put a link in the top corner there. I advise you go and have a look at that. It's got some really good information. You don't need a lot of this stuff. The manufacturer of your van has already done a lot to mitigate any vibration. This sound deadening material, the thin, heavy sheets, are only designed to reduce vibration noise. So putting it on wheel arches and floors and that isn't really going to benefit you. Um, you know, it's designed just to take the vibration out. For wheel arches and floors and other areas like that to stop noise being transmitted through the van, then you need a sound absorbing insulation like a dense foam or something like that, which absorbs those sound waves and will reduce that breakout noise. So you need to use the right material for the right application so this stuff this thin heavy stuff is to stop this this drumming on these large flat panels and you only need a small amount you don't need to cover the whole panel this really sticky self-adhesive we've cleaned these panels and all you need to do is just place it in the middle make sure I mean it's really sticky so and that's all you need you don't need any more than that and all that does is it adds a bit of mass to that panel these are quite heavy these little sheets and it lowers the frequency that it vibrates at so it makes it sort of deadens the sound so now you there's a noticeable difference between that panel from what it was before to now so we're just going to put one sheet on each of these lower panels one sheet on the higher panels at the top and then that's it. I'm not going to treat the wheel arches with this stuff. I'm not going to do the floor because that's ribbed. There's no vibration on the floor. And I'm not going to do the roof either for the same reason. Yeah, you know, 20 sheets of this is enough to do the whole van. And that's it. So now you can see by applying just a small amount of that heavy material, listen how deep the noise is now. You know, that tone has dropped right down, the frequency is a lot lower. So it's going to deaden that noise. So you can see exactly where I've used the sheets. I've put two above the window there. There's four in that lower panel, two above the wheel arch, another two in that top panel. I'm going to do something different with the recess where the bed is. I put four on the back doors and then same this side, two in that higher panel, nothing where the bed's going to go and two above the wheel arch. So I think that's 18 sheets in all. I got them off of eBay, £1.25 per square. So that's about £22.50. So just over 20 quid for all the sound deadening. And you don't need any more than that. That is it. That's the whole van done. I'll put some links in the description below. I'll pop a QR code up on the screen here. So if you want to get these sheets yourself, just click that link and uh, yeah, you'll find them there. If we look at the structure of the floor and especially the wheel arches, the manufacturer has already folded some creases into those panels, mainly to provide additional strength to those flat panels. But in doing so, it also reduces the vibration so there's no need to apply any additional treatment to those. 
not in the form of these heavy anti-vibration sheets. The best thing that you can do to reduce the noise transmitted through from the road is to use a dense closed cell foam, similar to what we use to insulate the overcab area. So what I've done to treat the wheel arches, because the manufacturers already pressed them and they're already ridged, they're very rigid, they don't suffer from vibration. All you get is you get noise from the road transmitted through the body of the van. So you don't need to treat the vibration on these, you need a material that's going to absorb that noise that's coming through the body of the vehicle. So I'm going to use this 10mm closed cell foam. It's a dense neoprene foam and it will do a number of jobs for us in one application. It's self-adhesive, so it sticks to the profile of these wheel arches nicely. It's easy to apply. The foam will act as a sound absorbing material, so that road noise that's coming through the body of the van will be absorbed by this 10 mm of foam. That's gonna make it a lot quieter inside the van. And then in addition to that, it's actually, the closed cell foam on its own is a vapor barrier. I've also got this product with a foil face on it, again, which is sort of doubling up on the vapor barrier. So as well as insulating this against the cold, sound absorption capabilities, and also vapor barriers. So it's gonna achieve three things in one with just this one application. And you can already hear, I mean, there's no metal noise there at all now. You know, it's done an absolutely brilliant job. So we won't get any road noise from the wheels, it's insulated and I'm not going to suffer with any condensation either. So there we go. Now we've bonded that roof back down to those roof beams. We're just uh, out on a drive now just to see what the effect is. There's absolutely no rattling from that tin roof like there was before. I mean that was really bouncing up and down and that's quite solid. I can hear the occasional little rattle which I think is coming from the door catches at the back. So maybe just a bit of an adjustment on the door catches and that would disappear, but yeah, the difference is like night and day. So yeah, really pleased with that. So check your panels on your van. If they've become unbonded, a bit of Sikaflex in there does the trick. Awesome. 
So there we go. Hopefully that explanation has helped you when you're picking the soundproofing material for your van. You really don't need a lot of it. The manufacturer's already done a lot of work to help you. And you're just adding extra cost and extra weight to your conversion. So if you found that video interesting and it's of use to you, please do give me a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And if you've missed any of the videos in this series so far, I've put them all together in one playlist and I'll put a link to those videos here. You can click on that and the whole playlist so far will be there. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the future videos. I'm trying to put out at least two videos a week so there'll be one along in the next couple of days. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.